Hi, my name is Jim Pfeiffer from Packet Video. Today I'm going to be covering a short tutorial video on how to set up the Twonky Media Server for the PC and the Mac. I'll cover installation and some configuration steps to get you up and running quickly. I'll also show you some ways to check that the media server is running properly after installation. Before we get started, it's necessary to set up your home network so that the Twonky Media Server can work properly with your other devices on the network. If you need help with that, look for the Packet Video YouTube channel and find the video on home networking setup. Now let's get started. To find the latest version of the Twonky Media Server software, first set your browser to the Twonky Media website. Click on the Buy tab. Over on the right you'll see another link that says Looking for Twonky Media Server. Click on that. And down here you have two options, try or buy. The server will work for up to 30 days on a trial basis with no license. Or if you click the Buy tab, you can actually purchase it outright and have your license sent to you via email. After clicking on the tab, you'll see a set of links for downloadable installations for your platform. When you launch the installer, the first thing that it asks you is which language setting you want. It's defaulting to English, but I can actually set it to a few different languages here. After setting the language settings, the first thing that happens is an end user license agreement click-through page. After accepting the end user license agreement, I'm presented with a page that asks me for a license key. If you're in trial mode and you simply want to try it for 30 days, you can just click next and go through this. If you've purchased it and you have a license, then you enter your key here. The next step of the installation process is to go through either an express install, which is the quickest way to get it up and running, or a custom install if you want to override the defaults. Next, click the install button. After going through the installer, the next thing you want to do is just click the finish key. Now let's have a look at the same installation process on the Mac platform. The Mac installer is usually delivered as a zip file that shows up in your downloads folder. When you click on the installer, it comes up as a Mac application installer. Similar to the PC platform, one of the first things it does is allow you to set the language setting and also a click-through license agreement. On the Mac platform, it'll ask you for a password that allows you to install the application on your desktop. The server will present you with this first steps page. On this page, you can set your registration key and your server name, or you can leave the registration key out if you're just doing a 30-day trial. After setting your registration key and your server name, the next step is you want to actually save the changes and then restart the server. The Save Changes button is right here on the First Steps page. To restart the server, go to the Maintenance link and hit the Restart Server button. Like the PC platform, one of the good things to do after installation of the server is to check the media receivers list. This tells you whether the media server can actually see your client devices on the home network. Another useful thing to check first is go to the Media Browser link and test some of your content through the web browser to make sure that the server is able to serve it up properly. In this case, I'm actually going to go to some photos. As a first test, what I'm going to do is go into the Music folder. And you notice that this is the same content that we saw in the web browse link on the server. So everything seems to be working fine this way. Likewise for the Mac, I can do a quick test with my PlayStation 3 to make sure that it's able to find the content and stream it from that server. I hope you found these tips useful for setting up the Twonky Media Server on your PC or Mac. 
As a recap of those basic steps, first you want to download and install the software from the Tuwaki Media website. Then enter your license information and any basic settings such as your language settings or the location of your media shares. For other tutorial videos covering the Tuwaki Media products, please see the Packet Video YouTube channel or for other information visit www.tuwakiforum.com. Thank you.